hi welcome to chloe's corner with angelie chloe thank y'all so much for tuning in i appreciate your time i am just so pumped ladies i am just feeling the love of god he's just so awesome so let's just get straight into this video today um i usually have some type of outline and i let the holy spirit just flow but today i'm just literally letting the holy spirit flow um, because I feel that God just has a message for you. So, Father God, we just thank you so much for just being a very present help in time of need, God. We thank you that we could just call on you, God, that you are just faithful, even in the midst of our um, our stumbles, even in the midst of when we fall, Father God. Because you tell us that all of us fall short of the glory of God, but we are freely justified, Father God. And it is done through your blood, Lord. So we thank you, God. We praise you, God. We invite your Holy Spirit in, God. Speak to these ladies' hearts, O oh Lord. And God, I just thank you for the truth that shall set them free in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ah, <sighs> ladies. Wow. So today, um, as I was uh, driving over here, God just really put the word iniquity on my heart to talk about. And so, like I said, I'm just going to let the Holy Spirit just speak. But what I'm, what, what, uh, what God is saying is some of you are trapped in iniquity or AKA sin. Nobody wants to talk about sin, right? But we're keeping it real on this channel. We want to talk about those real things. We all have sin no nobody is perfect but god's grace is sufficient and he forgives us through his blood but does that mean that we should continue to sin and just walk in sin freely because we know god forgives us no we shouldn't we should just we should aim and strive to live a, a life that is righteous and worthy of god Yes, we may fall. We may stumble. So you may fall. You may, you know, you may fall into that sin. You may fall into that temptation, my sister. But let me just encourage you to know that God is faithful to redeem you and he will restore you. But it all starts within yourself. You have to make a decision within your conscious mind that you're not going to sin against God freely and willingly just because you can. And just because you feel like, oh, God is going to forgive me. Um, so you have to make it up in your mind that you're going to please God. Above all else, our heart should be to please our Father. Because He delights in us. He loves us with a perfect passion. So shouldn't we love our Father with that same intimacy, that same passion, that same fire, and just let that burn within us? Shouldn't we give our all to God, recklessly abandoning ourselves? that we should make a decision to say no more sin. Sin does not live here anymore, but only God's grace and peace abides here. So let me challenge you, my sister, that whatever sin it is that you are going through, whether that be sexual sin, whether that be um, lust, the spirit of perversion, or whatever other sin that it might be. Now, those are some heavy things that I just listed, but let's just keep it real. A lot of women are in that stuff. But let me tell you that it is more than possible to overcome it all by the blood of the Lamb. You just cast it out and you speak it. You have to first get it in your mind that I'm not going to partake in this. I don't care who's doing it. I don't care who's, um, who's glorifying it or who's making it seem like it's okay. But I'm not going to do it. You have to choose to stand apart. Be sanctified for the purposes of the Lord because when that, when that sin comes in and it festers and you're willingly inviting it in it just takes a hold of you so you've allowed the enemy to come in through a foothold that then binds you in a stronghold and that's the, the reason for so many um so many of these different struggles that women are in right now so let me challenge you to know first of all that if you are in there my sister if you are in there god knows it all and he will never leave nor forsake you. He didn't just cast you off and write you off because he said, oh, so and so is sinning and well, so much for that. No, he didn't cast you off. But instead he's still waiting faithfully as a loving father that he is because he is calling you. So consider this your invitation to purity. Consider this your invitation to purity. I didn't think that's what this video would be about, but apparently God has just spoken. 
He's calling you out of darkness, out of sin, out of sexual immorality, out of sexual temptation, and into a life of purity. Because let me tell you, the life of purity is bliss. And it is well worth it. It is it could be a struggle a struggle for you at first but let me tell you that god's grace is sufficient and that he will equip you to live a life of purity it is more than possible find you an accountability partner find someone that you can trust in your church in your family uh among your friends pray for god to send that person it may not look like what you have in mind but pray for god to send that person who can serve as an accountability where you can be open with it do not keep it in the dark do not keep it secret because that that infiltrates shame and shame is not of the enemy when you expose all that nasty stuff to the to the light let me tell you god permeates through that light his love permeates through the darkness with his light and then there's healing and then there's freedom i know we're going very deep with this video i did not intend to take it here but again God has spoken so let that be um, a gentle nudge if you will that God wants all of you he doesn't want your heart divided he doesn't want your divided loyalty he wants all of you he wants you to devote yourself to him as a virtuous woman of God as a woman of purity as a woman that would stand and not just say that you will stand for purity but then that you would I don't know fall for different things Stand firm in your beliefs. I don't care what your friends are doing. As a matter of fact, like we talked about in the last video, Circle of Influence, surround yourself with like-minded friends, like-minded Christian women who are trying to and really striving to live a life of purity and holiness and who are who are abstaining from sexual activity and sexual uh, encounters and immorality and all that stuff. And that they're really seeking to, to know God. They're really seeking to live a life of purity for God. And to be pleasing in God's sight. So if you're surrounding yourself with women who are just willingly uh, engaging in sexual encounter and sexual sin, it's more tempting for you to do that. It's more tempting and easy for you to give into it because that's the norm that you've surrounded yourself with. So surround yourself with those women who are really sh striving to know God and righteousness and you support each other. Have those real conversations where, you know, girl, I'm struggling with this right now. I need you to hold me accountable. Hey, let's pray, right? Find an older accountable uh, accountability partner, a woman in Christ that could hold you accountable. That's been there, done that. She can show you how she's gotten over that struggle and is living a life of purity. Does that mean we'll ever be perfect? No. But it's more than possible to live a life free of sexual sin. So don't be bound in sin, my sister. Don't be bound. This is God calling you out of darkness and into his marvelous light because he has greater for you. He doesn't want you to be separated from him or distanced from him because of sin. So let go and let God. I love y'all. Let's pray before we go. Father God, we just thank you so much, Lord, for that message. God, I just pray that every single woman that needs to hear that would just come into contact with this video and that the words would speak truth to her heart, Father God. So we speak against every single entry point that the enemy has invited himself in or that um, or, or that my sister has even allowed the enemy to come in. So we speak against that right now. We bind that door shut in the name of Jesus. And God, we call forth righteousness. We call forth purity. We call forth peace, Father God. Let my sister receive your forgiveness, Father God. And let her see her size herself through your eyes father god so we thank you for washing her through the blood she is cleansed she's made whole and she's new god give her the strength to abstain and withstand from sexual sin let her be wise give her wisdom and discretion that she would not put herself in situations where she would be tempted to come to sexual sin but lord just give her peace lord give her wisdom and let her uh, be obedient to your direction. So God, we thank you. We praise you in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, y'all. You can reach out to me uh, if you have any personal questions. This is a very real thing that happens. If you want accountability, hey, call me. You know, reach out to me if you haven't, if you don't have an accountability partner yet. Um, and I can help guide you through some things. Angelique Chloe 2016 at gmail.com. That's A N G E L I C. C-H-L-O-E 2016 at gmail.com. Uh, you can also follow me at Twitter, Angelique 
same spelling, A-N-G-E-L-I-C underscore Chloe, C-H-L-O-E. So that's Angelique underscore Chloe on Twitter. Follow me there. And uh, I have some great stuff coming for y'all. So I love y'all. Be blessed. Have an awesome day. Bye.